It should be hard for us to imagine that there could be divisions or strife between believers in the church, which is his body, those for whom Christ sacrificed everything. But unfortunately, it is all too common. Today and has been since the first believers were saved by grace and spirit baptized into the body of Christ. Such division and strife among believers was Paul's opening appeal and instruction in his first letter to the church in Corinth when, inspired by the Spirit, he wrote, Now I beseech you, brothers, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10 Just look at this simple verse. Paul's request was an end to the divisions among the brothers in the church at Corinth. Ending the divisions would be evidenced first by the believers at Corinth coming to all speak the same thing, alluding to doctrinal agreement. His appeal in this regard was that they further, because of their being in Christ, be perfectly joined together, united, describing the type of fellowship that believers should have together. And this joining together would be evidenced by their coming to be in the same mind and in the same judgment together. Again, as will be evidenced by the balance of this epistle, this centers on doctrinal belief. This appeal continues for churches all across the world today, so many of which are lead by men instead of lead by the Spirit, with this leading to division and strife as the enemy deceives them into such. And the result of continued division is that the world watches and therefore sees no reason to want what believers presumably have. Believer, recognize the need of unity within the body of Christ and led by the Spirit and guided by His Word. Seek this unity.